One of my very favorite things ever is the local film community. It's a really small world, but especially within the world of film. And when you spend 12 or even 16 hours a day on set with a group of people, it feels like you've been through so much together. Everyone with a different job, but everyone with a common cause. And you become close-knit. You become like family. And you see familiar faces on different sets, and you continue to meet new people. And in this area, everyone is so supportive of everyone else. One thing I love to do is go to film festivals because you get to see so many films that you wouldn't have a chance to see otherwise. And they can just enrich your life like other forms of art. And most festivals offer seminars and speakers from the industry. Springfield was just the home to the rated SGF Film Festival and the Branson International Film Festival is coming up. You can go to BransonFilmFestival.com for information. I recently talked with Deborah Watson, the organizer of the Branson Film Festival, who's making her own films and is right in the middle of this new wave of entertainment coming out of Branson right now. Branson is getting a lot of attention for new reasons. But there is a new breed of people that have been growing up there, born and raised there, that are creating the change along with the leadership from the mayor. Um, and you can see it taking place in the shift at the theaters, as well as the new industry of film that's growing there. So we are super excited to have our second annual um, film festival being housed at the White House Theater there in Branson, right between the IMAX Theater and the Meadows Theater. And we had 220 submissions come from 30 countries and 23 states, which is a 24.5% growth over last year's. And it's going to be April 4th through the 7th, um, starting off with Keith Harkin, who used to perform with Celtic Thunder, and he's got a solo career going now. And we're going to have great um, industry professionals coming in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. Film production incentives are tax benefits that vary from state to state, and that can include tax credits or exemptions, grants, or other perks. And many people believe that these incentives help the local economy, and that ties into one reason why people are submitting their films to festivals. Well, there's so many cool projects going on in this area, and I think that a lot of folks are hoping to get some recognition, you know, at the film festivals and all the different places that they can show their films. And, the, you know, the, really the ultimate goal would be to get incentives back to Missouri and bring in some even larger um, film projects. I just did a project with some friends that I've worked with a number of times now. The writer-producer has a lot of experience doing the festival route, and one of the goals of this project is submitting to film festivals. So check out some of the behind-the-scenes footage I got. We are on the set of the short film Pushing Envelopes, written and directed by Debbie Sutcliffe. She's actually in costume right now because she's also starring in it. Well, and last year, Debbie's short film South of Swan Creek mm -hmm. was in the Branson International Film Festival. Yes. So, And you won some awards, right? Yes. We won the top award, uh, which they call the Agape Award, and we, went, <laughs> we won Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. Are you going to enter this short film into it next year? Yes, we will be entering okay. this also and in the Branson And Brittany film here, she directed that one, right? Yep, yes. she was yes. our so Say hello to Brittany Greer. Hello. <laughs> and she is also a part of the crew this year as the assistant director. Um, having fun. Basically, she's doing all the work because I can do it without her. She's all together. If you can yes. see, we're kind of a mess without her. If you see, they're setting up for our next shot right now. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Behind us. Hard yep. working. We've got a good crew. Yeah. But we're having fun, and yep. that's what we're doing tonight. Yep. So. And also, uh, this young lady here is one of our actresses in the film. And she's yes. killing it. I'm a mean girl. She's a mean girl, but Everybody not in real life. Not in real life. In real life, she's a sweetheart. But she's doing a good That's just a testament, I think, to how good you are, though. Aw. See? Thanks, Brittany. Yeah. Nice girl. Thanks, Thanks Debbie. Mean girl. Yeah. 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 This is Terry Austin. She's my scene partner today. We're having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> scene eight, ice cream, take one, soft sticks. And action. Okay, Pam, let's go. I have a nail appointment in 30 minutes. I think I made a darker shade, don't you think? Oh, for sure. Let's go. Why is she even wearing these? She doesn't even have a family. Our friends. <laughs> okay. Let's just try it. Now, whenever I pick it up, I'm kind of straight profile to you. Do you want it any more? That's, that no, way? that's fine. And Straight we'll get a little bit of catch light. It'll look good. So yeah, you can turn just a little bit this way if you want to. Okay. Oh, okay. 
We hope between all of the efforts that some bigger projects will come here to Missouri. But in the meantime, people like me just continue to do what we do because we love to. We love to act, to write, to create with people that have become family here in the local film community, which is why it's one of my favorite things. Mm, I'm so excited to see Pushing Envelopes. That's yes. going to be so good. Yes. And I love behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah, that is cool to watch. Uh, that's not the scene that people will see. That's the behind-the-scenes. We saw his hat coming straight at us. But we have so much talent here, and people really want to create. They want to uh, do these independent films. And then even the big, the big guys come here to shoot. Yes. In fact, we'll be talking later with Ja and Jeff from the Sato 48 Film Festival, yes. which unites people from all over the Ozarks that have to create a five-minute short film in 48 hours. Hours, 48 hours, 48 and that really hours. tests your creativity, your storytelling ability, and your physical strength. The editing, <laughs> because, and the editing. Oh my gosh! Sleep. Yeah, is you've got so yeah. much to do, and the products, amazing. Yeah. The overall products, amazing. That. Yeah.